Welcome to the water polo lesson on the six on five power play by sportspectator.com. Following a kick out, the offense sets up in this manner because it's one of the best ways to exploit the fact that the defense is missing a player. It's called a 4 2 setup because there are four players along the two meter line and two players up top. This setup will force one defender to have to cover between two players. For example, one defender will be responsible for guarding the one and two, another between the two and three, the third between the three and six, the fourth between the three and five, and the fifth between the two and four. The one, four, five, and six are both passers and shooters. The two and three will be responsible for shooting only and will not pass. The six is the main passer because it's easy for all other players to receive passes if they're right-handed from this position. He can pass to any one of the other players. The one will be one of the strongest shooters who can catch a pass and catch the goalie off guard. He can also, once he has the ball, walk it in and look to take a pass on the inside post. The four and five should be strong shooters and can look to take a shot from the outside or to pass across to one of the two or three. They should never pass directly in front of them because the defender will be in the way. The four and five can also pass to the six or the one. They can also pass to each other, although that's not a very effective pass. The best option on the six on five is to catch the goalie moving across the cage. For example, if the pass comes from the six to the four and the four can shoot it quickly, the goalie doesn't have a chance to get over. This is also true on a six to one pass or a five to one pass or even from the six to the three or the two. A quick pass and a tip in from the two or the three can catch the goalie off guard. For this reason, the two and the three should have strong legs and be able to get up high for the pass to tip in the ball. Here is an example of how the defense might play. Notice that there are one, two, three, four, five defenders, and that the sixth defender is off in the corner because he is out of play. To start play here, the six passes to the five. You'll notice that the two defenders move up. The five then passes to the one. Notice how both this defender moved across here, these two defenders moved back in, and the goalie moved across. Now that the one has the ball, he walks it around. This defender moves out on him. The one was looking to possibly take a shot. Now he passes to the four. The two defenders both move out here. The four passes to the six. The goalie moves across the cage. The two defenders move back in. This defender will likely move out. But here, a quick pass came from the six up to the four, and he's able to shoot it before the goalie is able to move across. Another formation on the six on five offense is the three three. It's called the three three because there are three players on the bottom and three players on the top. During a three three, the defenders will match up one for one on the bottom line. This means that only two defenders will be left up top and they'll be responsible for covering all three guys. They'll be moving back and forth to cover the ball. For example, right now, this man has the ball. 
So the defender swims out. The pass goes to the middle. The goalie moves to the middle as well. The defender moves across. Another pass goes. Both the goalie and the defender move across. Another pass. Defender comes across again. Pass to the outside. You look here. This guy has now moved in in position to maybe take a shot. Pass comes. He's able to get a strong shot before the goalie can react. This concludes the lesson on the six on five power play. You can find more water polo lessons and lessons on other sports at sportspectator.com.